So a question you might be asking yourself if you're looking at BMWs right now is, should I still look at things like the 4 Series that's still running things like iDrive 7? And especially in a world where, you know, iDrive 8's out, the nice big display, things are starting to minimize a little bit more. So, I mean, it's a very logical question, but what's the answer? Well, if you still like having hard buttons, obviously this is a pretty hard yes. Let's stick with that. But in terms of everything else, I mean, in terms of your digital display and in terms of your uh, main control center here, all this stuff is still, in essence, the same as iDrive 8. You get a couple more display options in terms of the layout itself, but in terms of colors, you still get that. And then and over here, it's still, a, it's still a swiping walkthrough. The only difference is instead of having these guys here, they're just built into the side. And they don't have physical media, communication, navigation, car, and apps. I mean, that's it. So get it.